This video is looking in the left side of the Kawasaki Concourse motorcycle at the throttle assembly. You can see the throttle pulley here and you can see the idle stop that it rests against. You can also see a little cam right here. Let me get you a little better shot of that. So on the side, left side of the bike, you'll see a little cam here. You can see I can actually move that cam. That cam is attached to the secondary uh, butterflies. And that cam, you'll notice, also drives this idle stop up and down. So as that cam moves, that idle stop that the throttle pulley rests against also moves up and down. Now this cam is attached to an, the end of a rod and that rod runs all the way through the throttle bodies and the secondary uh, butterflies are attached to it. The other side of that rod on the right side of the motorcycle is connected to an electrical servo and that servo is controlled by the ECU. So the ECU is able to actually drive this camshaft through the servo on the other side of the throttle uh, body. So I'm going to start by turning on power to the motorcycle and when I do you're going to see the secondary uh, butterfly shaft is going to adjust itself which will adjust this cam position which will also drive this idle stop. Okay, so the ignition's now on. You noticed the cam drove a little bit clockwise and it drove that idle stop down. I'm now going to start the engine. As the engine warms up, you'll see this cam will start to move and it will start to reduce the idle speed. take a little while for the engine to warm up so this is going to take some time there you can start to see that the uh, camshaft rotating counterclockwise and now it's fully warmed up and it's released and the idle stop is now back to its full hot position so that's how the cold idle works on the Kawasaki Concourse.